This is the 400 meter world record holder, Wade Van Niekerk. We all know him from his absolutely legendary 43.03 that he ran back on August 14th of 2016. Running all the way out in lane eight, this South African completely shocked the world as he took down the great Michael Johnson's previous record that stood for a full 17 years. Van Niekerk also has tremendous personal bests in all sprinting events under 400 meters, and to this day he is the only human to ever run under 10 seconds for the 100, under 20 seconds for the 200, and under 44 seconds for the 400. I should also mention that his 300 meter personal best is the fastest time ever run in that event, even beating out the great Usain Bolt and Michael Johnson. This dude clearly has the complete package when it comes to sprinting. He's fast, he's strong, and he has the will to win. Just take a look at his racing history, and he achieved all of these medals by the age of 25. But what we're here to discuss isn't what he's done in the past, but what he predicts will happen in the future. Just five days ago, he sat down with the Olympic Network and made some pretty bold statements about his future. He said that sub 43 is definitely where I want to go for the 400 meters. I can go way better than what I've done in the 100 and the 200. That's where my mind was before the injury, and that's where my mind is at for the future. If I don't go sub 43, that means I am not growing. There's no other goal than the sub 43 for myself right now. That's what I'm working for, and that's where I want to be. This is certainly an elite level goal, but when you're only three one hundredths of a second away from greatness, you have the authority to reach for uncharted territory. Now, you might be thinking, Van Niekerk's injury back in 2017 ruined his career, but you're only partially correct. Had he not gotten injured, my guess is that he would have continued his 400 meter domination throughout both the 2018 and 2019 seasons, and he also likely would have won the 2019 World Championships in a similar way that he won both 2015 and 2017. But that didn't happen. Instead, he missed out on both seasons due to a torn ACL. However, earlier this year, he returned to the track with a solid 100 and 200 meter double in the same event. For the 200, he threw down a solid time of 20.31 seconds, and for the 1, he ran a surprisingly fast time of 10.10 seconds. These times are obviously slower than his personal bests, but 10.10 and 20.31 against pretty weak competition is very impressive. Also, this was his first event in almost three years, so even while he was shaking off the rust, he was threatening to break the 10 second and the 20 second barrier. One extremely special trait about Van Niekerk that honestly rivals any other runner throughout the history of the world is this man's running form. You simply cannot deny that it is amazing. When he runs, he creates so much raw power while maintaining a smooth and balanced effort. This excellent efficiency is why he was so great at the 400, and if you want even more proof at his running efficiency, he ran a 157 for the 800 earlier this year, and by the looks of it, he was practically jogging. The reason this form is so crucial to his future success is because he is still operating at an extremely high level of running efficiency. If we take a closer look at his recent races, we can see not just incredibly quick turnover, but beautiful running at his top end speed. Again, his raw power and seemingly effortless mechanics are pretty mesmerizing, but his running form is solid in both the 100 and the 200. If we zoom in on his last 50 meters of the 100, he is an absolute machine. Just look at his mechanics and look at his top end speed compared to the other athletes. This certainly bodes well for Van Niekerk's 400 meter future, because if you're looking to break the 43 second barrier, you'll need not just high endurance, but great speed to match. We have never seen a runner like Van Niekerk in the past, and if there is anyone that can achieve that magical 42.99, it might just be this amazingly talented South African. And now I pass this final question off to you. Will Van Niekerk break the 43 second barrier during his career? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.